This video is brought to you by Midway USA. Support the channel by choosing Midway for your shooting and outdoor supplies. This is the much anticipated, something that Josh and I are excited to show everyone, the AK-9er Mark III. So what have we done here? The stock is still the same as a Mark II. The biggest change that you see right here is that the chassis, the SureShot Armament Group chassis, the Mark III chassis is now housing the Saiga. Now the chassis itself, yes, it free floats the barrel. Yes, it is very, very rigid for us to put lights, lasers, basically night fighting devices on here. The other thing that it does is actually, it's much better with heat insulation. Because it's free floated, the Russian version, this is the slim Mark III chassis, does not have an interface with the front handguard retainer, which on the Mark II did still translate some heat into the front handguard retainer. Now this entirely insulates your hand and that is important for AKs because AKs, as you guys know, run hot. Now, the top mounted rail system as well also takes a an ACSS Hollow Sun red dot, great battery life, but most importantly has a bullet drop that when coupled with a magnifier that we don't have here but we do on the practical accuracy run is actually a very formidable combination. Not only does this cut down on weight when you're not using magnification, but the magnifier can double as a monocular device for observation if you're not using it on the rifle but it also has a ranging feature essentially doubling a lot of the features that you see on a an lpvo now we also got this little nub from rifle dynamics instead of using the modified krebs safety you could now use the original safety like so the magazines are still kept the same the suppressor system, the gassing is still kept the same. However, with these minor changes, I already see a huge difference to it. The front end is entirely lightened, it's free floated. You don't get affected by heat nearly as much as the Mark II's rail system. Safety is faster to run. On top of that, we added a Hub City Outdoors sling, which is far better than the previous Soviet style slings that I was using. Once you need it, you deploy it, you pull the pull tab, and you're up and it's loose. If you need to swim out at this point, swim out and, and you just get out of the sling. But then again, if you want to tighten it again, get the pull tab, pull it really tight. And you're back into admin mode, especially you can even fold the stock, take the can off. And this is an extremely tight, small package. entirely loosen your hands up. That's honestly a change that I should have made back then to begin with. But now this honestly to me when I shoot it, it feels more like, a, dare I say, an AR with the inline recoil, low recoil system. So the AK-9er Mark it's a legacy system, an AK-100 series rifle, with a modern SureShot Armament Group Mark III chassis. That ties in a lot of capability in a legacy system and actually rivals a lot of current offerings that are out there in 2023. And in some ways, you could even argue that this may be better for you in your case, whatever it may be, 
because it has a lot of backwards compatibility with legacy systems, meaning logistically it's easier for you to source parts if you need to in whatever circumstance. So we've, all, we've done a lot to talk about the sighting system upgrades because of the SureShot Armament Group chassis. We've talked a lot about uh, the grip upgrades, but also the fact that this chassis helps better insulate your hands from heat, which the AK systems run very hot. But one of the biggest things now comes down to the fact that we are compatible with a lot of night fighting capabilities, infrared fighting capabilities, which means at this point of the video, we'd have to close it out. We'll see you back at the version two, the part two of this video, where we shall meet on the range when there is lesser light outside. We'll see you out there soon. Tapper 1-6, this is Jill Knight 6, 4 Vic, 8 Pats, Red Con 1, Green to Green, top copy, over. Jill Knight 6, this is Tapper 1-6, roger, over. One six, Jill Knight 1, 1 Pack, Green Green, over. This is Tapper 1-6, roger, over. One six, Jill Knight 2, 1 Victor, 2 Pack, Red Con 1, over.